Neo with 1,909 insurance registrations for the week of March 20th through the 26th. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. And stick around to the end. I'm going to have a bonus that I want to share. It's something that is worth watching, especially into the later part of 2023. But first, let's talk about these numbers a little bit. For uh, I want to initially start with the ET5. Now, I did not see a breakdown of the ET5s. So here's what I did. I kind of ballparked it. I know, I know it's a dangerous game to guesstimate, but that's what I did. And I'm figuring, okay, what if we saw about 1,200 of these vehicles um, that had the insurance registrations done? What if they end up translating into deliveries for the ET5? And then what does the rest of the month look like for March on the ET5 side? That's the model. The only real clear data point in my mind that we can get from NEO because it's the one model that is coming out of NEO Park. The other five models that they have are all coming out of the original plant and they're reshuffling, doing facelifts, bringing out new models. So there's a lot more to unpack and unload and try to figure out. It's it's kind of, it's probably a hot mess over there if we're really being honest about it. But coming back to the ET5, that's why that's been the focal point for me in this first quarter and maybe even the first half of the year. So with that in mind, uh, it looks like February 27th through the, the 5th of March, we had roughly 2,106 ET5s and then another 1407 that second week, which was a full week, 1263. And then if we got another 1200, I'm guessing we're going to see about 6,000, probably a, maybe a little more than 6,000 for ET5s just in the month of March. And so that's what that is. Now, what about the total deliveries? Let's go over to my playlist. I created this playlist so that we would have easy and quick access to data like this. And it sure makes things easier when I'm doing these videos and we're just sort of tracking things. So what we saw was uh, at the end of February and early March, we had that 3345 number for insurance registrations, of course, not deliveries, but you know they more or less translate pretty close for NEO most of the time. The second week, which was the first full week of March, NEO with 2170 and then 1775. And again, this week, 1909 is the number. That's a nine around the end. Uh, so here, here's my thought. It, it looks like Neo's probably going to come in the range of the guidance that they gave us. We're probably going to see around a 10,000 number, um, probably hopefully a little bit over 10,000. And so we'll see what that is. I do think they'll probably share that data and release the numbers, the delivery numbers on April 1st. Watch out, it is April Fool's Day, so you never know. Maybe they'll pull some slick, funny uh, business, but uh, no, I don't think so. I do think we'll see those numbers. And here's the thing I actually want to, you know what? Yeah, I want to do this first. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking and, and changing thought process as I go. I want to talk about this briefly. Uh, this is a video that I dropped on Monday. Mondays, I do what I call motivational Monday videos, and I talk about different things that have helped me and they're meant to be encouraging, supportive, inspirational. If you want to take it that way, I would hope that it would be that for someone. Um, the idea is encouragement and support and motivation. I think it's a, it's a time and an era where we really need it. And the craziest thing is I've got a couple of folks who stopped through in the comment section and were pretty nasty. And so I just wanted to share that, offer that in, in a couple of comments. So here's what I'm going to do. A very brief comments response section here because I didn't get to these comments from yesterday. But again, this video was not about Neo content. And so that's why I was kind of like, wow, is sentiment this bad? Or have I just struck a chord and a couple of people really don't like me? Or is it something else? You know, I don't know. But let's get through these briefly. First of all, Ted A was not one of the meanies. He's not a negative Nancy. Ted says, it is amazing to see someone who is doing nothing but spending a couple of minutes to send a message about inspiration and resolve and someone to comment on it completely negative. <laughs> Aaron, please don't let haters influence your chosen path. Plenty out there. appreciate your uplifting message. And I want to say this. Thank you, Ted. Um, it is supporters and viewers like you who make me grateful to have the opportunity to share such messages and we're going to send it and we're going to go to the next one uh oh here we go look out this one now i've actually done comments response videos and talked about this particular profile and this is what they say here stop pumping crap communist companies is a good start towards meaningful change 
And here's what we're going to do because the one and only you have earned this. We're going to hide you from the channel. Goodbye. All right. It, the thing is, I'm like this. I don't mind if somebody comes through and has something negative to say. That's no, no problem, no issue. I didn't even talk about Neo in this video. And this is a repetitive. And when I say repetitive, it's like three to five times that I've seen someone and all they've done is that same negativity. And that is a no thank you. We will just move you right off uh, of the stage and out the door. They're fired. Daniel, what's up? He says, change is not my strong suit, but I will keep pushing forward. Daniel, I appreciate that, man. Good for you to acknowledge. Whoops, I spelled it wrong. Hold on. That change. I'm having problems typing. <laughs> Is difficult, but a worthy. I'm proud of you, buddy. Uh, so my comment, if, if you can hear, because I was kind of talking and typing, and it's really struggling to type there. Good for you to acknowledge that change is difficult, but a worthy challenge. I'm proud of you, buddy. And I am. That's Again, this is there's a lot more depth of value in things like this for me than even making money, uh, whether it's investing or whatever. Um, and uh, let's see. Peter says, I have 900 shares at an average of 30 US dollars. I can and will keep it for years. Time will tell if good or bad idea. Electric vehicles are the future, no doubt. I trust in patience will pay off 2024 or 2025 or so. Nobody knows. I have time. Keep on, Aaron, with your optimistic videos. And three people like that. Thank you, Peter. Thanks for the positive message. And let's go, Neo. Take care, Peter. And we'll send it. Send it. Um, oh, it looks like maybe the one was removed. The one who had the nasty comments. I'll just have to talk about it briefly. Um, Frank asked about March deliveries. I've already covered that in this video. So I'll go ahead and just briefly say I expect I expect to see them April 1st. And let's do that. Oh, and you know what? Let me see. Maybe this is why. Hold on. Hold on. Let's change this right now. We're going live. This is getting wild, wild and wacky. Nope, it doesn't show it. I wonder if that person review, uh, removed their comments. I kind of hope they did because uh, the account was, it was an account called, oh my Lord. And um, it really just popped up and was hating. And I didn't even talk about Neo in this video, but I've seen that account on other people's Neo videos and not so nasty. So maybe it was just a personal issue. And that's, look, I don't take it any kind of way. But I don't want people's time being stolen with that negativity. So if I see them again, I'm going to remove them. And that's why. And I just kind of wanted to talk about why. I don't want to just be off the cuff or all emotional or whatever. It's not really my way or style. Uh, but I do want to offer a little bit of an explanation. And hang on, because now you've stuck around this long. You deserve this. Check this one out. This, folks, is the NEV penetration in China. Now, the ICEV is up here. That's the ICE vehicles, the internal combustion engine vehicles. And then you've got the NEV, the new energy vehicles. Now, what's noteworthy is July 1st, 2023, there is new compliance, new regulation coming into effect. And there will be more NEVs that are sold from there on out. I don't know how many more. I don't know how much this percentage is going to change. But because I saw this and wanted to share it, on the heels of this sort of news that we really don't have a good, clear, clean sense on how much of an impact it's going to have on the Chinese market, I wanted to make you all aware of it. So the NEV penetration right now is 32%. Now, that means there is a whole lot that can still go to NEVs because eventually it's all going to be NEVs. So the ICE vehicles, those sales will eventually transition over to NEVs, but I don't know the time frame. Because I don't know the time frame, but I do know there's new compliance and regulations coming into effect starting July 1st of 2023. I wanted to mention this, bring it up. And here's the other thought. I'm going to close with this. Is NEO being positioned in the premium segment? And for example, the sedans, and I've been tracking that, the sedans, um, let me do this quick. The sedans uh, on the premium side, I have done and have a playlist put together for that where we're tracking things like the ET5 sales and previously the ET7. Now, what's crazy is within that segment, the six models that are outselling 
the ET5, uh, almost every month, are all ICE vehicles. And they usually account for 50 to 60,000 or more sales in a single month, which means all of those sales in the future will go to someone in the new energy vehicle space. And that segment looks like it's NEOs for the taking, provided they can get production ramp up. And that's why I'm watching and wondering about this July 1st, 2023 date, because I just don't know how much of an impact it will have. But I'm going to be here to find out and I'm going to tell you all what I'm thinking. And that's why I want to highlight it. And, and yeah, I know I'm, I tend to be early on stuff. So I hope I'm early on this, but I wanted to bring attention to it and make people aware of it because I don't think uh, there's enough market research for us to really have any idea what is going to change and how significantly the sales shift might go from ICE to NEVs in the second half of 2023. Neil might know, and that might be why they're so bullish on talking about the big numbers for deliveries that they've been talking about. Also. I want to toss this out there. Double shifts. Neo hasn't done double shifts. Whenever they do that, obviously they can get a lot more production up and out. But when is that going to happen? Will we see it in the second quarter? Will we see it before the third quarter? Or are they going to try and set up and just have a monstrous second half of the year? I don't know. And I still, although I really hope Neo proves me wrong and, and can come in with the numbers that they are talking about doing for the year, I don't expect them to do a 250000 type of number for the year. I just don't expect it. I hope they prove me wrong. I'll be uh, very pleased if they do. But uh, but let me know what you think about any of this, all of this, uh, your take, your sense of things, where things are. The sentiment for NEO stock is obviously bad. When I have people popping up on videos that aren't even about NEO and they're being negative and nasty, that is an indicator that sentiment is really bad for NEO. And that's one of the reasons I want to highlight it. Also, I just want to kind of explain why, hey, this is sort of what happens and why I remove people on the very, very rare occasions that I do it. That's why. So anyway, I hope you all have a great Tuesday. We'll see y'all again real soon.